Well, it officially happened and the SEC has approved 11 Bitcoin spot ETFs. Now, while this is a monumental time in really crypto history in general, uh, there's also a lot of things that we have to focus on outside of just this approval because this approval is going to be just a cascading event for a lot of other things that could potentially happen. And in many ways, we were already seeing that occurring. Uh, in fact, out of all the speculation of, of a Bitcoin spot ETF being approved, the highest or one of the highest performers has actually been Ethereum due to the speculation that an Ethereum spot ETF could be approved as well. So in today's video, we're going to kind of cover everything that's happened with the Bitcoin spot ETF. The situation with the SEC yesterday, what's happened now today that does solidify that this is actually legitimate and then really look at what's going to be the greatest impact into this year. And will this impact the historical traditional four year cycle of Bitcoin? So with that said, if you're new here, my name is Alex Talk about Crypto, Crypto News, Crypto Passive Income. If you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing. Enjoy this video, smash up the like. Without further ado, let's run the video. So it is actually official this time. The SEC has approved a Bitcoin spot ETF. They've actually approved 11 Bitcoin spot ETFs uh, and quite the opposite of the overall social media buzz, if you will, compared to what occurred yesterday uh, when the SEC got compromised and a post got put out uh, on their official Twitter page stating a Bitcoin spot ETF was approved. And it really became, it just showcased at that period of time of how much of, of a butt of the joke or a laughing stock a lot of people consider the SEC to be when they can't use two-factor authentication to protect their social media accounts, how much more can they protect citizens of the United States uh, and businesses? So uh, in, in, real, in real terms, the purpose of the SEC is to protect uh, Americans. And what occurred yesterday, lots of Americans, I guarantee you, a lot of Americans lost money due to the SEC hack. So they, they did the exact opposite of what the entire agency's purpose is to do. So uh, either way, that's not the point of today's video, but I, I did find that really uh, satirical. It, it's, it's really absolutely insane just to kind of consider that the agency that's supposed to protect people did the exact opposite yesterday because it can't protect itself. So either way, um, today was the big news, right? The, the Bitcoin spot ETF being approved. A lot of the, the rally leading up to this, a lot of people already kind of had the expectation that this would eventually occur, whether it was going to be January 10th or not, it was going to occur considering some of the, the leading details uh, coming up to this moment. So when the document came out, this is the document. I'll leave a link to this down below if you do want to check this out in a bit more detail. But overall, the cryptocurrency markets have somewhat started to rally. Uh, now, it's not nearly been as much of a rally that when a tweet went out yesterday, Bitcoin went up $1,200 uh, just in an instant. Uh, and then after it came out that it was fake, it, it dropped another $2,000. Uh, so in this instance, it's pumped a little bit, but really a lot of the focus on uh, anything in the crypto space is predominantly on Ethereum. Uh, and Ethereum in a lot of ways is getting the spotlight due to the fact that a lot of investors and traders are looking past this Bitcoin spot ETF, which they kind of already knew to a degree was going to occur. And so they're looking at what is the next thing that could potentially rally that they can get in early and then ride that wave of momentum till that a potential approval does occur. And that focus is on Ethereum and in a lot of ways, the byproducts of Ethereum, whether that's layer two scaling solutions for Ethereum, whether that is uh, you know, staking providers, those who are providing the opportunity uh, to stake uh, Ethereum uh, on validators. So there's a lot of focus past this kind of Bitcoin. I think that's one of the reasons it's not been met as with as much hype as it probably would have is most people are focusing on past this Bitcoin spot ETF. What is next? What next opportunity does bring uh, the, the returns that could be potential 
uh, with a, an ETF approval. And I think a lot of people also are looking at the fact that historically Bitcoin works on these four-year cycles. They work on these halving cycles. Uh, and yes, a Bitcoin spot ETF is huge, but is it quite in line with, the, with a rally that would be typically associated with the normal cycle? So it really just depends on kind of where you are on that spectrum as to how much of uh, you know, how much of an old head, if you will, are you on this theory of the happening cycle and the four year cycles of Bitcoin uh, compared to something that's not typically in the, the works for something like Bitcoin occurring, such as a Bitcoin spot ETF or 11 Bitcoin spot ETFs being approved. So it's, it's kind of like a weird place to find yourself in. Uh, because you kind of look at, hey, after uh, a happening, there's about a six month window and then really things start to rally. But let's talk about this thing that occurred three, four months before a happening occurred that's instrumental to the rest of Bitcoin's history. So it's really a weird place to find uh, yourself depending on where you stand on Bitcoin's kind of rally history and, and happening cycles. But a lot of people are looking at how will Ethereum's price react to a Bitcoin spot ETF approval. And this has already kind of been at the forefront of a lot of people's minds because there, since in December of 2023, the SEC delayed its decision on several Ethereum ETF applications to May of 2024. And, and that's really only four months away. So a lot of people are looking past this Bitcoin spot ETF approval and they're looking at, hey, how do I get in early for the rally that could lead up to a Ethereum spot ETF approval for many of these similar companies that applied for Bitcoin spot ETFs that got approved for Ethereum approval in 2024, uh, specifically in May, uh, and providing, according to this article, that the Bitcoin spot ETF does not become a sell the news event, uh, Ethereum's price is well positioned for rally due to its correlation to Bitcoin price. Now, one thing that is interesting uh, is the fact that in this article, they think that the potential upside for the likes of Ethereum is upwards of 75%. Now, in reality, when you look at the overall uh, performance of Ethereum to Bitcoin in 2023, Ethereum has lagged significantly compared to the likes of Bitcoin. Uh, and, and that's why I think in a lot of ways, people are looking at Ethereum and saying, hey, there's still a lot more gas in the tank left for Ethereum for it to catch up to the similar rally that Bitcoin had in 2023. Uh, in fact, Bitcoin rallied about 157%. Ethereum was in the 90s of percentage. Uh, so you look at 60 to 70% more upside if it was to match the same rally that Bitcoin had last year. So is it that real unrealistic to consider the fact that Ethereum could go to over 3,500, close to $4,000 uh, leading up to this rally, uh, up to a potential uh, spot ETF approval in May. I think it's it's very reasonable considering Bitcoin did that as well. So something to consider and, uh, with this mindset that everyone's looking at this Ethereum potential, you're seeing Lido Dow uh, being one of the top gainers over the last 24 hours, up 16%. Uh, Rocket Pool, you can see, is up nearly 15%. You're also seeing Layer 2 scaling solutions, such as Arbitrum, up 12%. And I think that's going to be something that's go we're going to continue seeing happening, uh, and it's really going to spread across the Ethereum ecosystem because all of these are going to be impacted one way or another if a spot ETF is approved. So this is the thing that I mentioned earlier as far as this Ethereum rally and how Ethereum did in 2023 compared to how Bitcoin did. Uh, and this is according to uh, an individual stating that Ethereum has taken a big hit against Bitcoin in the recent months. But on Tuesday, we saw signs of a bottom for Ether against Bitcoin as it rallied 8% off its lows. It's possible the market is starting to look past what it believes is now a near certainty with a Bitcoin spot ETF approval and now thinking about the next push towards an SEC approval of spot ETH. ETFs. And that's exactly why I think so many people are going to be looking past this Bitcoin rally is why Bitcoin is not rallying as much as people maybe would have hoped 
uh, and all the focus is going to Ethereum. Uh, and this is the stat, Bitcoin up 157% uh, in 2023, Ethereum just 90%. So you've got 67% of a difference right there. Uh, and some speculating Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum could be up as 75% this year alone. So 60 to 75% is kind of within that ballpark. So that said, we're starting to see this across the board. Uh, a lot of traders are focusing on Ethereum. A lot of options are starting to increase for Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum is really taking uh, the forefront of a lot of the eyeballs for people that knew to a certain degree a Bitcoin spot ETF was almost certain and they're looking at what is the next thing. Now, what's interesting is according to Bloomberg, they're predicting about $4 billion in spot ETF inflows just on the first day of trading. That is absolutely huge. And that's just the first day. Now, consider uh, past this approval, sometimes it, it takes a bit of time for companies is kind of it's not always a knee-jerk reaction sometimes it takes a little bit for the news to settle in and then you know things start occurring so it could be the fact that as we start to see january play out we can see january being absolutely huge for the likes of bitcoin and even more so to the likes of ethereum consider this amount of capital coming into ethereum in a potential ethereum spot etf approval depending on what the SEC decides to do uh, in its decision that is pushed back to May. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think a lot of people are gonna be focusing on Bitcoin spot ETF approval and everything that is gonna be outlined in that? Do you think Bitcoin is really gonna be the predominant one to rally? Do you think market share for Bitcoin is going to increase, market dominance is gonna increase, or do you think that this is going to really push Ethereum to the forefront because everyone's focusing on the next thing and typically, after Ethereum rallies, so do alts. So I would expect that over the next several weeks, uh, over the next several days even, we're going to see a lot more heating up of altcoins. We're already seeing that a little bit today, uh, comparative to the likes of Ethereum already starting to rally. So leave your thoughts, comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, smash up the like, enjoy content like this, consider subscribing. And until next time, guys, stay invested.